Hey there, Improv Tipsters. Well, today I have our very first encore guest tipster, uh, and that is the lovely and talented Molly Erdman. A couple weeks ago, she did this video here, bing, about uh, called therapy improv, a technique for bringing scenes uh, from the past or sort of outside of the now into the now and charging them with emotion. I love this tip. I think it is so fantastic. And there was actually a follow-up question about it. Someone, uh, Carolyn, uh, uh, requesting a follow-up tip about once you use this technique and give out this emotionally charged statement, what if your partner doesn't engage that or they try to make a joke or deny or or do something else to, to not really engage that thing? And then Carolyn was requesting a, um, a follow-up tip about that. Well, Carolyn, today is your lucky day because I, I got Molly Erdman to come back and, and answer this exact question. And I think her answer is just as fantastic as the first video. Um, also, I should say about Molly that she um, is, uh, all of her links and stuff are, are still down below in the description. And she is going to be teaching, uh, or she often teaches, in fact, this uh, this daytime level one class at the iOS here in Hollywood. And uh, so if you are uh, uh, unemployed, I mean, if you're an entrepreneur and you ha are in control of your own schedule uh, and you can take an improv class during the day, then I would absolutely suggest hers number one on the list. She is a simply a delight. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy Molly Erdman. Hi, everyone. I am very excited to be back with a follow-up to my previous improv tip, I'm Molly, by the way. Um, I think this was a really great question that was posed about this. You're in a scene um, and uh, you, you use my tip of, of bringing it to the present by saying, I feel this way, or you're making me feel this way. Well, the question is, what happens after that? And so I wanna answer this from, from two sides of this. One is, you're in a scene with someone, I'm gonna go back to my planning a camping trip example. You're planning a camping trip, you're kind of talking about the future, you're not really invested in the relationship. Your scene partner hits you with an I feel statement. They're like, I feel really nervous about this trip. And you're like, what is this? I didn't sign up for therapy, I'm an improviser. Um, I don't need it. Uh, it's not true. Um, uh, so you have a couple of options here. I, I see this as sort of a, a choose your own adventure. You have many options. To, I'll narrow it down to two. One is you're surprised by this information, by this I feel that the character has given you, or you're not surprised. In either case, you have a wonderful opportunity to yes and what's going on. I feel really nervous about this camping trip, your scene partner says. Okay, let's decide that you are not surprised. Um, of course you're feeling nervous. Your brother was mauled by a bear. I understand. I, I'm, I appreciate your bravery in taking on this challenge. It's what I've always liked about you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Or maybe you're surprised by this information. Uh, I feel really nervous about this camping trip. Really? But you were an Eagle Scout. I just assumed you would, you would be really enthusiastic about this. And then you can go from there. So either way, you can react however you want to react to the statement and you, you have the opportunity to add more to it. On the flip side of this, you are the person who has said, I'm gonna use Molly's improv tip and I'm gonna say, I feel something uh, in a scene uh, where I feel like we're, we're not really in the moment. And your scene partner comes back at you with uh, nothing, <laughs> with making a joke or just they keep on doing what they're doing. So in this case, I say, oh, I'm really nervous about this camping trip. And my scene partner is like, well, I'm packing up the canteens. Uh, hope you don't mind, yours is pretty rusty. I have the opportunity to react very honestly to that and say, I don't think you're listening to me. I'm really nervous about this. And the fact that you're ignoring it makes me more nervous. So don't look at that, um, that your scene partner not joining in on the feel bandwagon as any sort of like denial or anything. Take it as a gift. Take it as not the improviser is ignoring you, but the character is and use that as a way to further the conversation. Another example of that is um, uh, I, I, I feel really excited about going back to my high school reunion. Uh, all right, I'm gonna pack two extra pair of pants. Is that okay? Mm, I can tell you're really excited too and that makes me more excited. So even taking what they're saying and deciding as a character that they're just being sarcastic or that you're so flooded with excitement that you're reading their thing as uh, that you're like delusional about their reaction. Use it as a gift rather than seeing it as them putting up a wall. And I hope that that uh, will help follow up with this and help you feel more comfortable in using these I feel statements in your improv. Thanks. 
Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you would like to hear an improv tip about. And also, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All the links are in the description down below. Thanks.